Welcome to our daily devotions in Advent here at Our Savior's Lutheran Church on this Friday, December 10th. Our reading is the first chapter of Luke, the 38th verse. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. And our quote to ponder for today. The world says, when you were young, you were dependent and could not go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will be able to make your own decisions, go your own way, and control your own destiny. But Jesus has a different vision of maturity. It is the ability and willingness to be led where you would rather not go. Henry J. M. Nowen, in the name of Jesus. Mary is a model of faith for one simple reason. She said yes to God. Mary's response is short and sweet. It's even more to the point in Greek, just 39 letters, 10 words. She says, I'm the Lord's servant. Your word be done. We often associate great faith with doing great things. The greatest acts of faith are ones of surrender, openness, and simply opening our hands to receive. Mary embodies this faith beautifully. With her we pray, I am your servant, God, your word be done. Let us pray. My Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end, nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think that I am following your will does not mean that I am actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire, and I know that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, though I may know nothing about it. Therefore, will I trust you always, though I may may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death, I will not fear, for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. Amen. Thomas Merton's Thoughts in Solitude.